Julie here from RV Tips and Bits. Um, you're out there camping, boondocking, dry camping. You got the water, you got the bucket, you've got the hose, and you're trying to figure out how do I get to fill up my water tank from this process. Okay, so we are here, and what is happening here is we are boondocking. And boondocking is when we want to fill the fresh water tank from a jug. And I've tried to find a lot of videos on this and can't really find it from step one all the way to the final step. So I'm going to do one here. Um, so here we have, this is a 2021 320S boondock tab. And so our Nautilus looks like this. Here it says sanitize and winterize inlet. Here it says city water connection. Um, whenever you're going to fill your tank from the city and just have the hose hooked up and get water, you're obviously going to be on this inlet here. When you're going to fill the tank and you're going to do it from a spigot and a hose and, and you're going to turn the hose on and it fills right in, you're going to do it from here as well. And of course you're going to follow whatever the direction says here. Tank fill is in this direction here. Now you're at boondocking and you need to add water to your tank. Um, so you get your jug or your pail, I've been using this jug, and then you get a short hose, you cut off the end of it like this here, and uh, I only did a couple feet, and then you put it in the sanitized winterized inlet, that's where you put it in, not over here, but you put it in here. Then you put these levers that follow sanitize or tank fill, you can see they're the exact same position. And I think sometimes online that's confusing because they say go into winterizing mode or whatever, but you're really in the, you're in the filling mode of the tank. Green left, blue down. Then you're gonna put the hose in the jug, like so. And then we're gonna turn on the water pump. So this is all here. Now one trick I did do, and I have this hooked up, so is that this screen that's over right here on this side, I flipped it over. Sometimes that will cause a suction issue if you keep it where it's where it's uh, facing out. So these just pop out, turn it around to the other side and put it back in on here and you get a better suction. So here we go, we're gonna turn the pump on and watch the water, see the jug? And it is filling the tank right now from this jug quite quickly. If it's not going quickly, then something's wrong. So now I'm going to get down to the bottom here and then I'm going to show you that screen here in a second. Okay, now I'm going to turn it off. All right, so now I'm going to unscrew this and I'm going to show you what I did. Yeah, so you see this little screen here? This just pops out. I don't have my screwdriver here, but see, I have it where it's going in the other way. I learned that from my motorhome that um, sometimes that will prevent the suction of the water if it's pointed out the other way. And that's it. So you can use the gallon jugs, easier to carry and uh, go back and forth. You can get these collapsible. I'll have the link below on these buckets. Really cool. They go down to a flat um, storage and uh, really easy to store away. Any RV drinking water hose, just cut off the end of it. I go about two feet. Get your uh, iPhone or your camera out and take a picture or pause this video and you will be able to snapshot um, the exact steps that I did here and then keep it on your phone. The links are below uh, for the products and um, hope you enjoyed it. I know uh, it, may, it was a quite reward to me to have uh, completed this task.